Come on, let's go. Move up and down, up and down. Good, good. Bigger your face every day like this! Showtime! Let's go! On your mark, get set. This season, there are two new trainers. Oh. Five teams will be training with them, and six teams will be training with Bob and Jillian. If you decide to train with our new trainers, you get immunity for four weeks. Yellow team, what have you decided? There's no way we can pass up immunity. The yellow team going with the unknowns. Gray team, you are next. Going to the unknowns. Brown team. We're going to go with the unknowns. Pink team. We're going to take a chance with new trainers. Red team. We're going to go with the unknowns. We're going to stay with Bob and Jillian. Courtney and I said, Bob and Jillian all the way. If you can have both of them, that's the best of both worlds. I came here for a challenge, and I know that they'll challenge me, and I don't want to be with these new trainers that I have no idea who they are. Aqua team, green team, purple team, orange team, blue team, black team. You will be training with Bob and Jillian. Unfortunately, you don't have immunity. Not at the weigh-in. My mother and I were in last. I knew that everyone would vote for my mom to leave. I'm so proud of you, Irene. You know that I love you with all my heart. My heart and all my breath. Going back up to my room alone was definitely hard. Everyone else has a teammate, and I'm thinking, like, who's my support going to be? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I can't just throw it away. I need to work more than twice as hard to, to fight to stay here. Imagine how crowded it would be if everybody was here. Oh, oh, yeah. It's really it's nice that it's not so crowded. Yep. <laughs> no more we don't know that. We have no idea what's going on. That's right. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Already you've learned that reaction from me. <laughs> Allison walks in, and you just you want to face plant in your egg whites. I mean, it's you know just, something, you know you know something is going on. I need to talk to you for a little bit, right. so come with me. Okay. Oh, boy. Right now, this competition is split into you and the five teams that are training off campus with the unknowns. Last week, they lost more weight with five teams than you did with six. You have every advantage. You have Bob and Jillian. You have the biggest loser, Jim. They didn't just beat you. They crushed you. And they didn't have to. They have immunity. They're immune for four weeks, and they smashed us. I'm not going to lie. You know, the pride takes a hit. This week, we're offering you a challenge. If you lose a higher percentage of weight loss than they do, you will all have immunity. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're going to do this. <laughs> that immunity means more than anything to us, because if we can wait another extra week to send someone home, we are going to work our butts off to get that immunity. And you will all be safe for one more week. Yes. It's a great challenge, but it's not going to be easy. No. Let's face it. They crushed us, so we're going to have to really step it up big time. Oh, and by the way, the group that wins the weigh-in this week wins $10,000. Yes! <laughs> I mean, that is just cherry on top of something diet. <laughs> right. No cupcake here. Cherry on top of some broccoli. Yeah. Okay. Except then we put the cherry inside and just eat the broccoli. Right. Right. <laughs> it's the beginning of week two, and we're starting off with a little present sent from the ranch. All right. You guys ready for a workout? All right. 
Before we start, we have a little surprise. There's been something sent by the ranch. So let's take a little peek. Hi, everyone. Just a few minutes ago, we finished the weigh-in here on campus. And I got to tell you, it wasn't even close. You all lost more weight with five teams than they did with six. Yeah. <laughs> we are offering them a challenge. If they beat you at the weigh-in next week, they're all safe. But if they don't, they're going to be sending someone home for the second week in a row. So obviously they have a huge incentive to beat you next week. We're going to offer you one too. Because the group that wins the weigh-in this week gets $10,000. We're not going to be beat. We're not going to be second best to nobody. We want the unknowns to be the baddest, to be the best, and lose the most weight. Let's get to it! Yeah. Yeah. You think you can take them? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Let's take a look at what you're up against. I promise you, you want to be the biggest loser. Every single one of you <laughs> is going to pay a lot. I'm a championship boxer. <laughs> Don't quit around me. It'll just make me really mad. Harder! <laughs> I don't see someone pass out or almost puking. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna be happy. More, let's go! More! Here we go! Show me something! 70, 80, 90, 20! How bad do you want it? Uh, uh, under, under! Let's go! That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it! Good job! Oh, it's so good! <sighs> they weren't just sitting around. I mean, they were training, training hard, they were serious, and they were gonna be a force to be reckoned with. You guys have your work cut out for you because obviously they are hard at work. So hop to it. Let's get going. Go guys. Make it happen, guys. Make it happen. The gauntlet's been laid down. The challenge has been made. Look like you boys are doing some good work. Keep it up. The money's ours, though. Have a great day. Going into the workout, we were all excited and anxious. We've got a full week ahead of us, a lot of work to do, and this is the first step to get us to where we need to be. Black, aqua, and blue get together on the treadmill. Ball overhead, let's go. Nice, easy start. These guys have an opportunity to have no one sent home. The unknowns are not just sitting around, so if we want to win this week, we have got a lot of work to do. <sighs> Focus forward, eyes open. I want you running with that ball. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, good, Courtney, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 3 point. Oh, Arthur. Turn in the corner, baby. Turn in the corner. Turn in the corner. Turn in the corner. Love it. I'm ready to go. All right, hands are up. Here we go. Up. Up. One, two. Open those feet a little bit, killer. Jay, relax. You're a pleaser. You're codependent. You are uber, uber codependent, are you not? Relax. We're just boxing. Okay. You're already stressed that I'm not going to be happy with you, that I'm not going to like what I see. You're anxious, you're tense, and it's f***ing you up, Jay. Okay. Relax and have fun. Who is this for? For me. Who's it for? Me! That a boy. Good, good, good. Bam! Yeah. Then go. <clears throat> Perfect. Slam me. Come on, give it. Right here. Ooh, doesn't that feel good? Yeah. Yeah? Boom. Boom, reach, full extension. Boom, there. Reach, boom. Come on, reach for it. What did we just learn about you? When's the last time you really reached for something? Do you ever really reach? Do you? Do you ever really reach? the only thing I've ever really reached for. Right now? This show being here changing my life. Reach. Sometimes you gotta reach. Wanting to be here, wanting it so badly, that's the really the only thing I've ever reached for. I've never really completed that goal of wanting to be a very fit, active, healthy person. Where I have faltered in the past, um, and actually all through my life, is that I've lost weight, and then I've gained weight. I've lost weight, and I've gained weight. Try again. 
being here and working through obstacles and challenges that come your way is going to be what changes my thinking forever. Boom! Perfect. Come on. Stick. Stick. Harder. Go. Harder. Go. I'll be here all day long. Go. Seeing Jillian with a pair of boxing gloves makes me literally want to be like this. <laughs> because it's scary. Reach. Good. There we go. You could be in there with Bob, and I promise you that is not a place you want to be right now. It is not any fun. Uh, two, one. Press in front of the head. Think about all those friends and family that are supporting you right now. They're thinking about you right now. Think about them. I think of my daughter and wife constantly while I'm working out. I think it takes my mind off the burning in my legs and the ache in my knees and the pounding in my chest. I know and they know that in the end it's all going to be worth it. Dan, there's people at home rooting for you right now. Good. Curl up. It is about getting you out of that comfort zone. It's about pushing you just a little bit harder. All those people that you see in your gym, Marcy, that are pushing themselves so hard, that's what I want you to do. Channel them right now. The one thing that Marcy's been carrying around is guilt. I mean, imagine. Here's Marcy that works in a gym. She's overweight herself, but her daughter got to over 400 pounds. You know, I came here feeling a little guilty and feeling like very responsible for Courtney's weight and even a little bit of a hypocrite and because I am in the fitness industry. It's not her fault. She did all that she could do for me and I made the wrong choices. It bugs me to this day that it still bugs her. It's my problem and I'm taking care of it. <sighs> Look at your daughter, over 300 pounds, busting it out right now. Good, Marcy. Nobody stops. Three, two, one. Show me your push-up. How old are you again? 34. 34? Well, you need to be moving like a 34-year-old. Let's go. You move a little too slow for me. Up. That's a lot of weight, baby. You've lost a lot of weight, though, haven't you? I got big dreams for you, you know that? You're going to be here till the very end, right? I don't know, man. I'll tell you, I'll be honest, right now, my body feels good, but I know I'm fighting this. What are you fighting in there? I don't know. That's why I'm here. 34-year-old man letting his weight go up to over 600 pounds. Something must be going on in that head that you know about that you don't want to talk about. You know, it's tough when, when you know you didn't live up to your potential. I had everything. I was gonna play pro ball. There ain't no doubt in my mind. And I let it all go. It's my fault. Why? Running with the wrong crowd, chasing the girls, <sighs> not going to class. So I lost everything. No football, no wrestling, no baseball, nothing. That's all I had dreamed about. <sighs> I couldn't have it. I just let everything go. Because you've been trying to kill yourself, slowly. No, and I got kids. <sighs> no, talk to me. Arthur. Stop, I don't want to. I'm crying enough. I don't want to cry no more. Arthur, what is it? I don't know. Stop, 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 stop. <sighs> no more. We're not walking away from our feelings anymore, dude. We're not going to just think that they're going to go away. That's why you're here. You get to feel whatever it is that you're feeling right now, and you're not going to hold it back, and you're not going to try to medicate, and you're not going to try to run away from them. You're going to get through them. You're going to feel them, and you're going to heal from them. You're not going to be that man sitting in that house eating yourself to over 600 pounds again. You told me in the beginning of this workout that you turned a corner. I see it. I'm trying. I'm but Arthur, trying. look at me. This is what I promise you. I'm going to be there when you turn that corner, and then we're gonna turn another one, and another one, and another one. You're not gonna give up. Arthur, we're going on a nice little jog. 30 seconds, 5-0, 5-0. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds, let's go. Bob's putting a, a pound into me, and he takes us to a speed that I haven't been to. When I get on that treadmill, I can't slack. I mean, my feet have to get up. If they don't get up, that treadmill ain't moving. And it begins right now. Woo! 
Captain Strong. Good. That's what it's about. Yeah. Body going. You got this. In my mind's eye, I, I pictured my two beautiful babies, and I just was not going to let them down. Arthur, focus on me. Five, four, three, two, one. Turning a corner on this. Jesus. I had never ran on a treadmill at five. I didn't think I could do it. But when you're faced with that challenge and you're looking the best trainer in the world and you can see that he has the confidence in you to do it, something special. Head up, head up, head up. <laughs> this was a great workout, especially for Arthur. He's got his light on right now in his head. Victory. <laughs> we did it. The sooner Arthur can be checked in and dialed in, the better. You did it. Hello. Baby. You did. Oh, God. On your mark, get set, go! We've got to beat the ranch this week. I want to send them a message that the unknowns are here to stay. Pay me some dues, go! There's a lot of grunting <sighs> and groaning <sighs> and sweating <sighs> and crying <sighs> and emotion going on in there. It's it's intense. It's just like going back to the Olympics and, and training to, to feel your lungs burning, to feel your arms numb. This is exactly the feeling I used to have. Seven! Come on, seven! There's no way that the ranch is going to beat us when this way in comes. They're going to have to bring some big guns in order to even come close to, to, to getting us out of this thing, you know? They're going to need a miracle. What are you beating up today? Dumb Denny? Dumb Denny. All right, let's go. One, two. One, two. When I was younger, I was sandwiched between my brother and sister who get straight A's, and I get C's, D's, and F's. And my dad would tease me and say, I was Dumb Denny. <laughs> because that's where I was put. Five, nine, eight, nine. Nice. Oh, it's so and I'm not. I'm so small. I'm not going to have that inside me anymore. I'm going to be the person I want to be. That's my thing. Jen, up, 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 faster. Slam it down. <laughs> this place is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. You know why? Not just because I'm here, but because it brings you face to face with every crappy feeling that you've ever had about yourself, about your life, all your insecurities, everything that keeps you awake at night is gonna be in your face like this here every single day, just like this. And it's gonna crush you. You feel it? So what's going on? Even though I'm here with my dad, I'm here for me. I constantly feel the burden of the fact that he's overweight. And I want to help him. I want to make things easier on him. Hmm? How's it feel? Been this way my whole life. I've gone back and forth. Hmm. Jillian, I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. So what happens if you get skinny and he doesn't? I feel awful. That's why you're not losing weight. That is why you're not losing weight. Go get your dad. Jen, you feel resentful? Do you? Jeff. Yes. I want you to hit him with all the anger you got. Jeff. Let's see if he's still standing. Let's go. Cross. Go. Cross. Go. You Cross. pissed? You're sick Jeff. of being fat. Jeff. Ah. Hit him. Cross. Ah. Hit him. Cross. Cross. Hit him. Come here. I feel like if I lose weight and my dad doesn't lose weight, I'll feel like it was my fault. But I need him to tell me that, that he's going to do this and that he doesn't need my help and he needs to do it on his own. We're a great team together. 
the one thing that you have to understand is that even though we came here together, I'm here for me. And you had to be here for you. I can't keep feeling guilty. And I just want you to know that because I'm doing this doesn't mean I love you any less. I know. Because I love you just as much if I was helping you or not helping you. I know. OK? Yeah. I need to do this for me. And I've never been so sure of something in my life. I told you that before we came here. I know. You did. <laughs> I'm so proud of you because you're so strong. It's kind of what I used to have. I lost a lot of that. I want it back. You and we're going to do this. But we have to do this on our own. And it doesn't hurt me. It actually feels better. So I'm OK with it. I'm totally OK with it. Okay. I have no problem with it. I love you so much. Greatest kid in the world. Thank you. I love you, too. I feel like the weight of the world has been lifted off my shoulders, knowing that I don't have to focus on anybody else here but me. I love you. Love you, too. Coming up, a surprise guest helps drive home the need to get healthy. That's so baby girl. And later, with immunity and $10,000 on the line, do the ranch players stand a chance against the unknowns at the weigh-in? We got that. to the gym to to put in some extra time because we, we really really want to beat the unknowns on the scale you will not. oh my god what is this hey we got a message our beloved ranch competitors we are thinking about you after the weigh-in and how bad you must be feeling to comfort you during this hard time we have decided to send you this little treat and hope it helps you through even next week's loss all our loves the unknowns gonna be food, isn't oh, it? Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, oh, my. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Drop it down. Drop it down. Back away no, from the donuts. That's just not fair. I don't know how that unknowns know, but my favorite thing after a nice meal is a nice, warm donut. Hey, no, no, I got an idea. Here, Let's take them outside. Two dozen donuts of the bunch of fat people is like Bambi sitting in front of a pride of lions. <laughs> you know? They ain't got no chance. <laughs> OK. Here you go. Here. No, ready? Take two. Everybody take a step on it. Everybody, every single person take a step on it. Let's go get on the treadmill. No, it That's didn't. A great yeah, idea. Dan, let Dan and Don their 20 pound oh, weight loss. There you go, right. twins. The fact that they sent a couple dozen donuts is a little weak. You have to keep in mind that. We have been cops for a long time, and we've heard all the donut jokes, so we may be a little bit biased on thinking that it lacked a little bit of um, imagination. Is this so. all you've got? Game on, kids. They That's it. Let's funny. do it. Game on. Let's go. Man. Forget them. Oh. Ooh. Mm. I have those donuts, and they're just screaming my name, Arthur. Just take a little bite. They'll kill me. I'm so tempted just to take one. I already hit my calorie burn for the day. Oh. Wonder if they trust me enough to haul it back down to the garbage. Bye, guys. Wait, you said goodbye. Just one little piece. Nobody would know. Oh, man, that's a temptation. It was like that, you know, the little, I call it the little fat angel on my shoulder. Eat that donut, Arthur, you can do it. You know, and I had the little biggest loser one, you know, over there flexing his muscles. No, don't do it. That's you right. got no interest in any of that shenanigans. Nope. Not Wait, at all. where's Arthur? Wait a minute. Arthur! 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 Oh, look, one fell out just for me. When I was throwing him in the garbage, a couple dropped out. And it happened to be my favorite one that dropped out, the twister. Oh. 
They got the seat. Three second rule, right? Three second rule? Nobody even know. I had to remember why I'm here, why I eat. I'm not hungry. The old Arthur would have easily grabbed one of them donuts. And because I still had that temptation, that lets me know how important it is for me to stay here. Chances are I'll fight those urges the rest of my life. But that's why we're here, so we can get that knowledge and, and know that one day we shall overcome the urge of the donuts. <laughs> that's a victory. that the unknowns could have thought for one second that we were going to eat those donuts. So all I can say is game on to them, but they're not going to be on my mind this week. I'm going to make sure I can do everything I can do myself for this team. Balls to the wall, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're just putting in as much time as we can because we've got to beat the ranch this week. We killed them last week and we have to do it again. I'm exhausted. We're going to blow the other team away. You know, the unknowns, they have no idea what we've got coming. I want for all of us to do what we have to do to get this week of immunity. That's the goal, that's why we're here, and we'll do what we can. Very important that we keep up the high intensity this week. You know, I think we got the ranch against the ropes. You all right? Oh. Hey, Marcy. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Hey, Courtney. Hi. How you doing? Good. Good. How are you? Here we are, season 11. I'm back to talk to the contestants. Obviously, we do this intensive medical evaluation, and we've done this plethora of different medical tests, and I'm here to deliver the news. Unfortunately, it's not pretty. You know, when you started, what, you were 100, 120 pounds heavier than when you started here, right? Yes, I was. I have been so inspired by the show, and that's what made me start my journey. A year ago, I weighed 435 pounds, and that's why I decided to make a change. And I've lost over 100 pounds on my own. But bottom line is, we have health problems because of our weight. The interesting thing is you're still very sick. We've calculated the biggest loser know your number inner age, and I'd like to show it to you right now, OK? Your inner age is? still up there when you have 200 pounds of hydrated fat that's still putting a huge hit on your insides. Dr. H told me crazy outrageous numbers that normal people don't have to deal with. And I, you know, it sucks to hear all of that, but I feel like blessed to, to understand where I need to be going at 22 years old rather than not understanding it until I'm dead. When you look at this picture of yourself, Olivier, there's about a, uh, an inch of fat right on top of your shoulder that's coming right up into your neck. What do you do for a living? I'm an opera singer. With all the visceral fat right in here, that fat is pushing up your diaphragm so you can't take as deep a breath. Wow. So you can't hold a note as long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but to see that, you just see what, how much damage you've done to yourself. And, you know, I, I think for a long time, I never thought that my weight really affected other people. But I have a husband of 12 years at home that may not have the chance to be a father because I can't get this under control. Don, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a police officer. We're, we're both police officers. What would you do if I said that 
There was compelling evidence that some individual had plans to kill your brother, Dan. And I also knew what the murder weapon was. Obviously, I took immediate action. Because based on all the risk factors that we found in your brother, we know the date that he's going to die. And that date for Dan is not that far off, estimated at 329.20. The murder weapon? Cigarettes, sugar, chocolate, and corn chips, you know? I mean, that, that's a crime. I have a nine-year-old daughter at home. If, if his prediction remains true, then I might be able to see her graduate high school. Well, I'll never see her go to college or complete college. I'll never see her get married. I'll never have grandchildren. So yeah, it, it effect um, negates uh, over half of what I consider the, the most important things in life. This is a lot to take in all in one setting. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about, you know, our own you know, mortality here. And we treat it so nonchalant. We want this to be a family community thing. And so I want even more involvement of your family. And somebody in Dan's inner circle is on the phone right now. And I, I want you to, to reach out and, and maybe explain some of what we've just been talking about. Hello? Hi, baby. How you doing? I've never been away from my daughter more than two or three days in her whole life. My son passed away six years ago, and since he passed away, you have this newfound urgency to make sure that your remaining child <sighs> is uh, safe. I miss you too. I'm gonna do this right. I may not be home for a few months, okay? But I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna do this, I promise. As long as the two of you are there waiting for me when I get home, I can last any time, as long as it takes. Love you. I, I can't even imagine uh, going home and telling them that I failed. It's just unacceptable. Artie, I've been doing this for 11 seasons. We've never had in any of the years, anyone with as much excess hydrated fat as you, you're basically around 370 pounds of excess hydrated fat. And that's after you've lost 150 pounds. Just to stay this weight, 507 pounds, you gotta eat at least 5,000 calories already. And I guess, you know, if you're eating a large pizza every day, That'll do it. Pizza guy knows me by name. I wouldn't even have to call. You know, they would just call me right before they'd send the order out. Want to make sure you're home, we're sending your order out. Come on. And it was like that steady for two plus years. We're going to calculate what your true inner age is. says, I'm 60, what are the chances I'm going to live 12 more years to see my daughter, just to graduate? It's scary. I really want you guys to succeed, and I know you can. But I want your whole family to succeed. And I brought somebody that you both know well. Oh, Jesse. no! That's my baby girl! <laughs> I'm Jessica. I am Jesse's daughter and Arthur's sister. And this is Aria. This is Jesse's 10th grandchild and Arthur's niece. That hug I gave you was for, from your daughter. She wanted me to tell you that she loved you and she wanted you to get better. She wants you to take her on rides in Disneyland. You know, the whole family, we're all pushing for you. We're not just doing this for ourselves. 
You know, we're representing so many other people back home. Dad, Bob and Jillian challenge you every day, but your daughter wants to give you a challenge. <laughs> you need to set an example for your family. You've always taught us never to give up, to do the best we can. So my challenge to you is not only to do the best that you can, but push more than that, to do better than that. Jessica says, Dad, we're looking to you. And that tells me she's saying, Dad, we want you to lead us. You always have. Yes, Jessica, I will come back. And we will do this, me and you, together. Give a big hug, Dad. <laughs> Play me. Play me. From, From the, the unknowns. unknowns. Play me. I'll play you. Let's go. Uh, let's go get everybody. Let's go get everybody. Jesse Arthur. We got a message got from a the message unknowns. From the unknown. Get your butt out here. Last night they sent us a couple dozen donuts. So what, what do they got for us now? Watch. I bet they try to deliver us a pizza with our video. Yeah, this better be good. What's going on? Okay. What's happening? There we go. Hi guys. Remember me? Just if you haven't heard, I'm the guy who lost 41 pounds. I tied the record of the biggest loser who lost the most weight in one week. We're the team that lost the most weight here and on the ranch. 27. 32. Beat that. 7.42. I got the highest percentage rate of all the females, not only here, but on the ranch as well. Come on, guys, step it up. I'm in my uh, calorie count today, 8,000 calories. Three! I burnt damn near 7,000 calories. It's still daylight. 4,000 calories. 4,600 calories. 4,500, and my night's just starting. You know I'm the gold medalist. You know I'm hey, the best. why do you waste your time talking to him? We got to go work out and think about where we're going to spend our money. Yeah. <laughs> Boxing. Jumping jacks. Pool. Rowing machine. Interval training. Three times a day, 10 grand. Y'all not ready. Yeah! Yeah! Wow. Wow. I don't know what to say. We're going to kick their butts this week, and that's that's all that matters. Last yeah. week doesn't matter. This is the yep. week that matters. So let's do this. You they don't can worry talk about, about the past. It's right. It's where you're going, so. That's right. They can talk this about last week. week all they want. Yep. I would love to send them some pizza. Personally, I don't want to give them the time of day. Right. I do not want to send them a message. I just want them to say, why aren't they worrying about us? Because we're not worried about them. That's yeah. right. That's I think good point. you got to take the higher road and just say, I like that, Marcy. See you later. Yeah. They can talk all the smack they want. That's OK. But I think that's the way they play the game. But uh, it's not the way we play the game. We're not going to react to the silly messages. Time to hit the gym, or is it time to hit the food? No, no it is no, time to hit, hit the gym. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Good work. We're happy for you, but don't get too comfortable. Yeah, because you may not be this happy next week. Marine Stadium in Long Beach. You already know that this week you are competing against the unknowns on the scale. The group that wins will win $10,000. And if you win, you win immunity. What you don't know is that you are competing against the unknowns in today's challenge. It would give us great pleasure to be able to beat the unknown, especially since they've taken such pleasure in pointing out to us how much better they've done than us. This was a chance for us to put it back in their face for a change. Here's how today's challenge is going to work. Your job is to get everyone from the beach across the canal using these rafts to build a bridge. We have to build a bridge 
from the shore to the middle of the pier, and in the middle is another set of rafts to the other pier. You have to get every single member of this group to the other side to win. We got this, guys. Yes, come on. Just a few hours ago, the unknowns were in this exact spot. Whichever team does it the fastest wins this challenge. They completed it in 38 minutes and 23 seconds. That's us. Yeah. There we go. All right, hook them up. Are you girls going to go up above and pull? We'll start to push. Keep up with it, you guys. You got it. You got it. Put them in the water. We decided to hook them on the shore and just kind of float them along. It's easier to float four or five in a row compared to one at a time. And we knew if we could float four or five of us, you know, there's, there's enough big guys on this team where we can hopefully control every raft and put it in position and get a good time. 20 minutes in and Kylie, the first one to the halfway point. They are making tremendous progress. 20 minutes in. Looks like everyone getting off the halfway point. Come on! There we go. Nice. We're going to need 25. There you go. Go. Let's go. Ah. That should be enough. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep moving. Here we go. Go. Come on. Go. Come on. Go. I think the challenge was, can you be a unified unit? Can you move together? Can you work together? And I think we answered that with a flying yes. Well, 38 minutes, 23 <laughs> seconds. We're not even worried about them coming close to our time. It'll probably take them 38 minutes and 23 seconds just to get to the first platform. If you beat the unknowns at today's challenge, you will win a three pound advantage on the scale this week. If you don't beat them, they get three extra pounds towards keeping immunity from you. It's up to you to stop them. Let's get started. Winning this challenge and getting that three pound advantage would be huge for our team. As a team, we unite. I can't see why, you know, we don't have this one in the bag. Ready? I am so ready. I am ready. Let's Give go. Give me that wrap. So ready, ready to start. Ready to go. So ready to start. Maybe we should have a man who has strength, though. It's not a strength thing. Shouldn't the lighter people be the ones bringing the rafts, though? How about firemen? I'm just putting six people out there and us coming up to you and giving you the raft and let you ferry it down. Woo! This is going to be tough. We can also float the rafts down on the side. On the side. I don't know if we have the right strategy. This week on The Biggest Loser. The gauntlet's been laid down. Let the competition begin as the ranch contestants face off against the unknowns. If you lose a higher percentage of weight loss, you will all have immunity. Yeah. We are going to work our butts off to get that immunity. Oh, and by the way, you'll also win $10,000. Coming up, can the ranch players avoid sending one of their own home? But first, Three pounds are up for grabs in this week's challenge. All you have to do is beat the unknown's time, which is 38 minutes, 23 seconds. And you will get a three pound advantage at this week's weigh-in. Do they have a handle? Okay, okay yeah. guys, maybe we should have a man who has strength, though. It's not a strength thing. Shouldn't the lighter people be the ones bringing the rafts, though? How about firemen? I'm just putting six people out there and us coming up to you and giving you the raft and let you ferry it down. Woo, this is going to be tough. We can also float the rafts down on the, on the sides. On the... I don't know if we have the right strategy. What happened? Wait. Light. I feel like the communication, it's just, it, it wasn't working. I'm fine. Right. Wait. I get it, sure OK, guys, yeah. let's, right. let's decide which way. The men should try to be pulling pieces off, yeah. can of you guys, and try to work up that center. The key to success for us is really um, organization. Who's going to clip? Who's going to clip? It's in the water, and you're pulling. You've got one person on each raft. Which way are we passing them? Right. Are we passing them upright like this or over our heads? What are we doing? I wouldn't do over your head. On your mark. We're not ready yet. Don't. What are we doing? I'm, 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 I'm so confused. Yeah, we have so many different yeah. strategies, guys. Which one is going to work? Get set. What are we doing? Would... Here we go, girls. Go, 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 go. No. Ready? Here we go. go. We need to switch sides. Go, go, go. Don't let go of the raft. OK, hey, I got it, I got it. No, not in the water. Not in the water. Yeah. Plan A was just take them out there and slide them down, get them hooked up as fast as possible. Is this the right side to hook? Um, and there was a real fallacy in that plan. What do I see? I had a raft on top of me, and I'm like, 
I'm stuck. I need help. <laughs> Guys, if you roll, it's faster. We got him the wrong way again. Make sure the clips are the other way. <gasps> no! No! The problem is the strategy is changing, changing, changing every second. This is how do I get Do we leave it? You gotta keep control of those rafts. You already lost one of them. It's floating away. There was definitely not a leader in our group. Ugh. Start bringing it on the other side, you guys. What, what are you talking about? Because we're going over the yellow line. We need to go on this side. Put them on the other side. Put the rafts over here. I have no idea what was going on in the or what was going on in the back. I just know what was going on in the middle. We didn't know what each person was doing because we couldn't communicate. No, don't try to, Jen. Put it in the water, it's easier. I don't think there was a clear understanding that the raft, as soon as they get in that little launch pad, they need to go in the water. There was quite a bit of rafts that it, we were still scooting rafts on rafts. It's lighter if you pull it on the water. Jay is standing there, his hands on his hips, not doing anything. The girls are, are rolling and pulling and pulling. Ah! We're like completely dying. Ah! And you look down to see what's happening, and people are just standing around. Start telling the men to get their asses on here and start helping with this. We're not all working to get to the dock. 15 minutes, guys. It's been 15 minutes, and you're not quite at the halfway point. 15 minutes into it, we looked at each other and said, yeah, this is not working. I lost one. Get him in the water as soon as you can. Everyone was so frantic and so exhausted and, and so wrapped up. It was like, like an, it was like an anthill. Everybody just scurrying around like crazy, trying to get rats out to the end. We pulled them on the sides. OK, no. We pulled them over top of us. We did a lot of rolling. But we really didn't latch on to one specific technique. Start connecting the rats. We need to regroup before it's too late. <laughs> we need to somehow get that one back. Oh, Marcy, said... how many more rafts? Four or five. Four or five. We got one, one two, two, three, four. Four or five. Bring that one, and then the rest guys start coming out. Now it's my turn to get my butt out there as fast as I can to the middle. Come on. Make sure you crawl. I think we're good on the rafts. <laughs> Yo, we can't reach that one. Wait. We gotta have one more. Thank we need know. one more. Looks like frustration is starting to mount as they realize they are not fully prepared to get to that halfway point. They need more rest. We weren't even halfway there, and I thought, oh, there's no way we're gonna make it. Uh, moving. Those rafts are floating all over the place. They have a long road ahead of them. Not much time to make it up. The clock is ticking down, and we're at the front, and we've, we've got these rogue floats that are just floating. There's no way somebody's going to reach that. So Marcy and I were like, Some, someone's got to go in. Go get it. The water was freezing, but at the same time, it's like you just got to get the float. Ten minutes, guys. You got ten minutes left. Oh, <laughs> OK. Right. Just to carry the rafts through the sand, and then to roll across all of those rafts while you're sucking in that river water. <sighs> Felt like a beach whale out there. Arthur, come on, keep coming. Grab it! Somebody get it! Grab it! Oh. I reached for it and fell in the water accidentally and <laughs> just shove it over to me. That's it. You got it, Jesse. You got it. Thanks, Jesse. Got it? Oh, yeah, get over there. Irene, don't fall. Yeah. Go, go, go. Less than a minute, guys. Come on. Don't fall, sis. Yeah. I'm carrying this. Ooh. Arthur, come on. Dang it. It took us longer to get halfway than it did for them to get the whole way. Oh, oh, baby. Baby. We did not win this challenge. That means that... Um, you could say that. 
we don't have the three pound advantage, which is just, it's really heartbreaking for our team because we really wanted to get that three pound advantage. It's one more stack against us. I have this injury of uh, the bursitis in my knee, and the one thing that I found to be the very best thing for me is shadow boxing. Kaylee! Oh, my knee! All I think about is, is my biggest motivation, which is my wife and my two girls. It gets me through, and I push harder and harder. Proud of you watching you every day. I don't think I could do this without you. I know I couldn't do it without you. You're, you're a really good example for me to push harder. <sighs> Just always remember mom and Linnea. My mom, she's so supportive of both me and my dad. I just wish she was here experiencing the things that I see in my dad, things that we've never really seen him do at home and seeing the drive he has. And I know she would be so proud of him. I'm ashamed of how I got like that. I'll do everything I can to be the better father for you and Linnea. Definitely the husband that, that mom deserves. People say that, that this should really be for you. But if I'm standing in the end by myself, it's not worth it. But if my wife is by my side and my girls, it's worth everything. Out. We got to think about not even just ourselves, but for each other all day long. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. all right. This week is going to be interesting because Jillian's not been feeling well, so I've got everyone on my shoulders, and I've got to make sure that I give them everything that I possibly can. So there was a challenge. You didn't win, obviously. What did they win? Three pound advantage. Do you think three pounds is a lot, Bob? I mean, do you think that's a For big? For them? I think three pounds is a lot. But I know that you're not going to let three pounds mess you up, right? No. Right. The only way that you're going to get this is if all of you really put in your effort and we're going to do our last chance workout and you're going to do the best that you can, right? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Morale was a little bit low after the challenge, but then when Bob came in, he reiterated to us that, you know what, you guys, it's three pounds. You can still do this. You might have to work harder, but that's what you're all about, and let that be your motivation. Those guys are strong, but you know what? You guys, you guys have heart, and you're smart, and you have passion. I want us all feeling good today. Today's a good day. All right, let's go work out. Okay, get on your piece of equipment. Now that we're in the last chance workout with a three pound disadvantage, we're gonna have to ramp up this workout. Good, abs in real strong. All we're thinking about doing is sweating today. That's it. Girls, go up to level seven. You guys, 13. Bob's like a conductor in the gym. You guys, hit your resistance up again. Everyone's breathing. We had 11 people. We're on four or five different machines. Level 15, I want to see your hands off that. Everyone's starting to get a nice little sweat going on. 
It's like he's literally conducting an orchestra. Here we go. We're moving counterclockwise. You guys are off on the arcs. You guys are up on the stepper, and you guys are on the treadmill. Please. When you feel like you can't go on anymore, you think about the three-pound disadvantage that you have been faced with. Switch. He hates me. Switch. Four, three, two, and one. Uh, thanks, That's Bob. right. That's right, Jay. Uh, that was that was rock star right there. Thanks, Bob. Last chance working, everybody. This is your last chance. Fifty. Come on, everyone, work it. In this last chance workout, we are doing everything we can to make sure these guys win the way in this week. Hard. Ha, ha. Oh. Ha, ha. I'm on fire! One of the things that I've been talking to her about is helping her understand who I am. Did you do what we talked about when you looked in the mirror? She asked me to look in the mirror, and uh, she asked me to, to really try and focus on what makes me who I am. What did you feel like you saw? I stood there. I don't make sense to me anymore. The decisions I made to get me to where I am now don't make sense. I don't know me. I think that's what I'm finding out most here is I have no idea who I am. I came here thinking that my journey was going to be a weight loss journey, but it's it's really turned out to be much more. And uh, I'm not even really sure how to how to define the kind of journey it's become yet. Well, I'm I'm finishing this. This is this is a journey I'm not going to let myself fail myself on. 200. Let's go. Hands up. Go. Three, two, three, four. Nice and light. Pace yourself. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Hey, hey, hey. look. Hold on, I don't think there's any possible way that the ranch team could beat us this week. Move it, move it, move it. Not fast enough, fast enough, fast enough, fast enough. Move! Managing your weight isn't only about cutting calories. It's also about getting more of the good stuff you need, like whole grain. Here's a tip. Add multigrain Cheerios to your morning routine. Studies show that people who eat more whole grain tend to have healthier body weights. Multigrain Cheerios has five whole grains and 110 lightly sweetened calories per serving. And to help you reach your goals, Multigrain Cheerios and The Biggest Loser are bringing you an exclusive seven-day plan featuring recipes, workouts, and motivation for your weight loss journey. So check out specially marked boxes of Multigrain Cheerios to get started. Jay, you ready to go home? No, Bob. Don, are you ready to go home? No, sir. That's right, no, sir. You fight to keep yourself ah. in this house. Perfect position. Stay right there. Five, four, three, two, ah. one. That's the mental strength of an athlete. That's what I'm going to tap into. There is an athlete in this man, and I'm going to find him. OK, Bob. <sighs> You can't help but just dig down deep when he's in front of you. you you're not going to say, I can't. It, it, it's, it's such a powerful feeling. Bob just makes me do more than I think I can even do. Nobody is stopping. Good. Let's go. Last chance workout. Fast as you can, Dan. Run to the top. Don, go faster. <laughs> Eyes are focused on that scale. My leg's been bothering me. So Bob just wanted me to walk the presidential mile. I want you to take the presidential mile, and you're going to keep walking until we're done up there. If that's what it takes to do my share, you know, to walk that mile, all right. I'll stay out there, and I'll walk for two and a half hours. I'll do what it takes. Just about to complete my sixth time around. Arthur is out there on that presidential mile, and he is not going to stop walking until I release him. And I'm going to release him. I don't know. When do they have to weigh in again? <laughs> Last chance workout. Let's go. Pick up your speed as fast as you can. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Slow it down. Turn your resistance to the right and start climbing. Just think about that number you want. Envision it. Laws of attraction. You have put the effort in to what you want to achieve. 
The first thing that pops in my mind is a nine because I weigh 308 pounds right now and I just want to be under 300 pounds this week. I'm proud of myself for how far I've come on my own. I still have a really long way to go, but now I'm here and I'm on a mission to finish this out. So this is a huge milestone for me. Go a little faster. Black team staying in this house. Yes, sir. Black team got a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. What's motivating right now is fixing my family, getting to a point where our family can be together again. To say that I miss my family back home is an understatement. I want my life back. My son, he told me one day, I don't want anything to do with you. <clears throat> that you're going to get so big that you're going to die, and I'm not going to be a part of it. My wife even went so far as to say, I'm not going to lose my son because you're fat. And she's right. And she's not going to. I'm going to fix this. Ugh. Let's go. Eight, seven, come on, Jan. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Slow. Slow. You know the story of David and Goliath, right, Jesse? Yeah. David and Goliath. So who are you? Don, who are you? David. Where's my slingshot? <laughs> The analogy of David and Goliath is very appropriate when it comes to us and the unknowns. I mean, the unknowns are Goliath. Rulon just standing up there with his gold medals and his world champion. And then there's Dan and Don who can barely walk across the gym without grimacing. I mean, you tell me if this is not the perfect analogy. David was the underdog, but I think we all know how that story ends. And I don't plan on that story ending any different with this group. You can do this. That's right, Jesse. You can do this. Five! Three! Two! Suck it up! Four. That's a push-up! Get in there! Don, show me more! Show me more, Don! Show me how bad you want to be here! Go, go, go! Let's go! The world is watching! Put your butt down! Yes, Mommy, let's go! On, let's go! Last chance, ladies and gentlemen! 20! 20, 21! Count it! 22! Count it! 3! 24! 14! Marcy, do you want to go home? No! Then go faster than that. Go! 12. Marcy! I want it all, Jay. I want it all. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on! Go stop! Moses, let's go! Go, baby! Go, baby! Yes. You guys want to win? Yeah! You want to send somebody else home? Yeah! I can't hear you! Yeah! Team! Yeah, before this weigh-in, yeah, I'm, I'm real nervous. We got crushed in the challenge with it, and then we got a three-pound disadvantage that I promised the team that I would make up all that pressure. So I'm real nervous going into this weigh-in. As you can see, Jillian's not here tonight. Unfortunately, she isn't well, so she couldn't be with us, which is unfortunate, because I know she would have loved to have seen how you stack up against the unknowns. There's nothing Jillian likes more than an underdog. And honestly, we've never had underdogs quite like you. Tonight, you need to beat the unknowns on the scale. If you do, everyone is safe. If you lose, one of you is going home tonight. If the unknowns win the weigh-in, they will have such incredible momentum. So we have to stop this right now. So far, the unknowns have your number. Last week, they lost more weight with five teams than you did with six. This week, they pretty much destroyed you at the challenge. When I hear you say destroy, I want to run up those stairs. Because I think that that's really disrespectful to say to these people. OK. It's like, yeah, they're the underdog. It's no secret. It's like David and Goliath. And they, they struggled a lot. But they struggled because these guys are like at square one. They've got a long way to go. But what they lack 
in strength they have in heart. We have the heart and we have the will to do this and, and we're going to beat them. What matters is the scale and we're going to prove it tonight. You gave away a three pound advantage to the unknowns. We weighed them in and they had another incredible week. One of them lost 17 pounds. I want to be the person that I have in my mind that I am. And that's, that's not 474 pounds. Another player has lost 53 pounds in two weeks. I just kept working at it to get about Kaylee and my wife and my other daughter. And those three helped me push beyond limits that I never thought I could ever reach. The 10 of them lost a combined total of 79 pounds. I don't want to see 300 anymore. I want to be done with it. They won a three pound advantage at the challenge, which means their total is 82 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.46%. In order to beat the unknowns on the scale this week, you need to have lost more than 78 pounds. That's a little more than seven pounds a piece. We got that. We got that. I guarantee you we got that. <laughs> oh, he's putting up a guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ecstatic. Because I have had everybody in this house thinking, we got to get at least 120. I mean, we're shooting for 140. To see that 82, that was beatable. Was we going to beat it? It may be a slight doubt, but it's beatable. That's the heart that I was talking about. I feel like I'm the only one that's sitting here just going like this. That is a lot of weight. <laughs> it's a lot of weight, especially in week two. But if you do lose more than 78 pounds, not only is every single person here safe and on campus for one more week, you all get $10,000 to split a month. You lose, you will be sending someone home tonight. And you'll be handing the unknowns those $10,000. So guys, it's do or die. This is the moment you have worked hard for all week. Let's weigh you in. Irene, you're going to start us off. Okay. Go, Irene. Let's go, Irene. Got this, girl. Looking good. The stakes for the contestants are so high this week, and Arthur made some really big promises at the beginning of the weigh-in. So it is vital for Irene to get this thing started right so we actually have a chance at beating the unknowns. All right, Irene. You had certainly a unique situation amongst this group. You lost your partner last week. You had to send your mom home. How was it without her this week? Emotionally, it's hard without my mother, but in a way, it was great to see that, like, I can be just as strong without her here. Let's see if your number reflects that effort. Your current weight is. Everybody's like, no, you're going to lose 10. I'm like, you guys we are crazy. told you. <laughs> Double digits in week two, Irene. That's pretty solid. You have Thank certainly you. started this group off well. I'm thinking 69 pounds among all of these people. It's easy. You know, we got it for sure. All right, you're off to a good start. Next, we're going to weigh in the black team. Dan, Don, come on up. I am absolutely convinced as I'm walking up this scale, knowing that I, I need to meet eight pounds, that I've got it. We've done so well the previous week. I also was pretty confident that eight pounds was not going to be a significant issue. Gentlemen, your current weight is. see Dan with that five, it kind of hit me. Well, if you can work as hard as Dan did and only put up a five this week, 
This could be scary. I'm extremely nervous. I saw you groan right off the bat there. I'm at a loss for words, because honestly, we've, uh, we've given it 100%, and I, it must be the curse of the dreaded week two. All right, gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. In my mind, if we lose, then I'm going to go to bed tonight with thinking that we're partially responsible for that loss. I was concerned that maybe because I didn't do or we didn't do well enough, somebody had to go home. Black team, you lost 13 pounds as a team, adding to the on-campus players total. Our current percentage of weight loss of 0.72 percent. When Dan and Don's numbers were not as high as we all had expected them to have a lot higher numbers, there's a little voice in the back of your head going, hmm, well, maybe we kind of got too overconfident. We've got four teams left to weigh in. Remember that you need to have lost more than 78 pounds to beat the unknowns. Purple team, you're next. Walking up to the scale, I have to say, I, this week I was way more confident than I was last week. I was thinking after last week, maybe we figured this thing out. We wanted to at least pull our part for, the, for our team. Our team this week has been the most important thing on our minds. And so I really didn't have a whole lot of nervousness standing on that scale. Olivia, your previous weight was 245 pounds. Hannah, your previous weight was 232 pounds. Ladies, your current weight is. Ladies, your current weight is. For a split second, I was just kind of like, is that right? It's like I couldn't believe what was on the screen. Mm Hannah, -hmm. you're obviously upset. I know that um, we need eight, and so it doesn't feel like six pounds of victory. It feels like eight minus two. You guys pulled out six in week two. That's really, really good. So don't wrap around the eight. I understand we need it, but six is real good. I know I worked hard but um, I wish I could have done more for the team, but I'm hoping that this will just be a jumping off part to do better next, next week. All right, Purple Team, good job. To be honest, I wasn't thinking, oh, you know, great, the others have beat us. I, in that moment, that didn't even come in my mind. What came into my mind was, was I've just let everybody down. I've let the whole team down. I say positive, I okay. mean it. Uh -huh. After Black and Purple Team, I was definitely getting a little bit more concerned. I'm thinking, I hope I'm not the highest here. Like, we need to really pull it together. Purple Team, you lost 12 pounds, adding to the on-campus players' total of making it 35 pounds so far for a current percentage of weight loss of 1.09%. We have three teams left weigh in as a group you need to have lost more than 78 pounds we're now going to weigh in the green team jay jen come on up knowing that a couple of other teams numbers were under the pressure's on us because jen and i last week were number one and the absolute last thing i want to be responsible for is sending somebody home green team your current weight is I'm looking at 10 over there. Those are nice numbers. That last chance workout, Bob, made all the world of difference for me. It really did. And the other thing I was tickled about is a year ago, I couldn't wear my wedding ring. And for good luck, I got my wedding ring back on. It's great news. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. The momentum of Jen and I was at 18. It felt great. The team was excited. We kind of were able to get our number back up. 
We felt like we didn't let the team down, and uh, we were looking to see what was going to happen next. Big J. Up next is Team Aqua. I want to get a good number for our team because I really want to have immunity and I want our whole team to be have immunity. But I have a huge goal for myself too. I want to be under 300 pounds. So going up there, I'm just thinking, you know what, Court, you've done all you can do. So now I'm just waiting to see what that scale has to say. Let's start with when was the last time you were under 300 pounds? I haven't been under 300 pounds since probably middle school. I mean, I was over 300 pounds in high school easily. So I'm, I'm just really hoping that that number has a two in front of it tonight. Baba, how do you feel about her setting an expectation like that for herself in week two of all weeks? It's giving me anxiety. <laughs> I just don't want to see the, the flame be blown out in Courtney. No matter what, Courtney, you can handle anything. I know. You can handle anything. Aqua Team, your current weight is. Just talk the talk, Courtney. You walk that walk. She paces. Ten <laughs> in the bedroom. All my pacing paid off, I guess. <laughs> Ten pounds in week two. Be 298 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I've never I, I I don't know the last time we've been under 300 pounds. Now I do. Now. Today. Right now. Right now. Right here, right it's happening. Week two. <laughs> this girl. Everything about her is right. What she wants, she will make happen because she puts forth the effort. This is who we're dealing with. Courtney, congratulations. Yeah. Good job. Aqua team, you lost 16 pounds in week two. Adding to the on-campus team's total, making it 69 pounds so far for a current percentage of weight loss of 2.16%. You have one team left to weigh in. And you need to have lost more than 78 pounds. Y'all ready for celebration? <laughs> Arthur's exhibiting all of this confidence. But you know, what happens if I only get a three or a four? What happens if, because of all of the things Arthur's been through, he only gets a three or a four? Blue team, come on up. Back. Arthur and Jesse are the last people to weigh in, and Arthur is so confident. And I gotta tell you, I love to see an underdog triumph, but Arthur has been struggling this week, and I would just hate to see him not achieve what he thinks he's going to achieve. It's all down to the blue team. Blue team, in order to keep everyone here for one more week to win $10,000 for the group. You need to have lost more than nine pounds. If I can't get nine, I'll walk home. Jesse, Arthur, come on up. You got this in the back. I want this. I had a tough week. My leg was hurt. Kind of felt like the bottom of the ninth. I'm going against the unknowns. Here it is. I'm injured. And what can I do? I can get up here and I can hit me a walk off. We got this, baby. I was a closer in, in, in baseball and I never lost. I always closed the game. We, we closing it, we bringing it home. I promise y'all, get ready to celebrate. Get ready now, to celebrate. Arthur, that is Big talk, you had a huge week last week. I gotta say, I'm seeing a bit of a role reversal here. Arthur, with all this confidence, and Jesse, in the last 10 minutes, you have not been as vocal as you normally are. What are you thinking about? I was a little man on the totem pole last week. I just want to bring, bring it home for the team. I really do. I want this bad. Arthur, your previous weight was 476 pounds. 
Jesse, your previous weight was 286 pounds. To keep everyone here for one more week, you need to have lost more than nine pounds. Arthur, a lot of confidence for me. You want to roll the numbers? My current weight is... Stop the beeping, just show me the numbers already. Yes! We have it now. And all those emotions of the week come flooding back. And it felt so good to get up there and be able to just deliver and bring it home. I wanted to dance. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to dance. All the, the videos, all the taunting and, and the donuts and that awful challenge to come back and win it in the end, I don't think we could have asked for anything more. With the blue team's 21 pounds, the on-campus players have lost a total of 90 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.81%. You didn't just beat them, you destroyed them. You beat them by 11 pounds, which is exactly how much they beat you by last week. Congratulations, you are all here for one more week, and congratulations on your $10,000. like just to point out, Irene, you had the highest percentage of weight loss, not just here, but on either campus. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, no need to say goodbye because you're going to be seeing all of them in the gym tomorrow. Head on out, get some rest. Good job, everyone. I don't know where the unknowns are, but I can tell you one thing. Things are looking good at the Biggest Loser Ranch. Courtney's hit her personal goal. We all have immunity and we have a little cash in our pockets. <laughs> Just like in the story. David slayed Goliath. So I guess we're not living in underdog land anymore. No, we're the top dog. How does it feel not to be an underdog, Olivia? It feels great. It feels great. And what kind of dogs are we again? We're the top dogs. Top dogs. Signing off. <laughs> <laughs>